Well, hello there, friends. We're making a traditional dish today, cassoulet from Toulouse, France. Delicious. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's got all kind of goodies in there. We're going to start with some bacon and some pork shoulders and some duck leg confit. It's going to be amazing, friends. I'm going to show you how to do it from beginning to the end. And, and we'll put some beans in there. Oh, it's delicious. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And stay tuned, friends. We're making cassoulet from Toulouse, friends. Right now. Okay, friends, well, a lot of you have asked for this uh, cassoulet. Mm. It's a very, very traditional uh, bean and pork uh, dish with uh, a duck confit, and, uh, and it's, uh, it's from the Toulouse area, which is in the um, southwest part of France. And, uh, and you gotta have Toulouse sausage. Yeah, good luck finding to, Toulouse sausage in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> so that's okay, we got some good uh, sausage. We'll talk about that later. But the main uh, ingredient is the tarpe beans. Yeah, good luck finding this as well also, mamma mia. So, but I got them, and uh, you can get them online. Um, I got a tarpe bean here, I took a, I saved that, but Jack said, you know, I'll put a picture out there, he's gonna have a, Tarpe bean, they are uh, traditional to use for that, but um, you can't find them or, or you spend 30 bucks a pound to get them online. It use a, a, a white cannellini bean, uh, you know, uh, white northern beans, just, and, and soak them overnight, okay? This, because we gotta cook them right. We, we, you know, I, I am not against buying uh, already cooked bean for many dishes, but this is more traditional. Uh, we're gonna cook them a, in a broth and everything. We're gonna make a lot of things with it. So, um, first thing we're gonna do is soak them overnight. So they, I wanted to show you. See, that was the original size of it, and uh, they're more than uh, uh, double, triple in size. That was the original size right there. So I saved them so I could show you what they look like. So this is a um, 500 gram of it, and uh, that's about 20 ounces of it. And, uh, and so we got the beans in there, and we're gonna put a, a ham hock, a ham hock, a smoked ham hock. You get that at the grocery store. And um, we're gonna put a, a few garlic cloves, but you know, put the whole garlic clove, don't worry about how many you're putting in, because it's gonna be poached and it becomes very mild, but garlic is very important in this dish. And then we're gonna put some uh, uh, carrots, and uh, you notice I'm not cutting them, and celery and onion, and I'm not cutting them because we're really making a broth. You know, we're flavoring a broth, and it'll be easier for us to take them out because they don't, they don't belong in that recipe like that. And uh, and depends the family you, uh, that was used to cook for you. A lot of them put tomatoes. You don't have to put the tomatoes if you don't want to, but I like it. I think it gives the broth a, a more depth of it. So it's really up to you if you want to put tomatoes. This is a a 28 ounce can of tomato, normally you know what I do, I take a spatula and I clean it up. Now, this is, uh, this is not the kids are hungry, Wednesday night, let's make a, a, a dish. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, friends, because I wanna make a tradition, I wanna make a traditional, and then what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll make a quick version. We're gonna, this one we're gonna do with duck uh, confit today. And, uh, and, and if you don't want to go through that whole process of doing it, you got to make it with chicken. So what I'll do is I'll make a, an easy one. This is the traditional one, and in the next month or so, if you like it, I'll make one uh, easy for us to make at home, not traditional. We're, gonna, we're not going to invite any French people, so they're not going to get upset, because they would get upset. <laughs> The, the French and the Italian and the Spanish, mamma mia. Everybody gets bent out of shape if I don't make everything perfect. Right? If I don't use the tarpe bean, they're going to go, oh, this is not traditional. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So, uh, <laughs> so we'll make a normal uh, a video for us and we'll tell them, you want to see a traditional, go over there. All right, friends. Now we're going to cover those guys with a chicken broth. So we're cooking the beans in the chicken broth, okay? And I have it hot right there. And we want to cover about um, an inch, an inch and a half for, I'll give you the exact measurement, but um, an inch, an inch and a half, and uh, it should be enough. Now, my stock doesn't have any salt and pepper, so I'm putting it in, and uh, if, uh, it, um, 
if you're using a store-bought uh, 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 stock, be careful because it's got a lot of sodium in there, all right? So friends, we're gonna bring this to boil, and we're gonna cook them about 45 minutes uh, uh, until they are uh, still al dente, uh, but they're starting to cook, so we're gonna finish to cook them in the oven with the pork and everything else. So I'm gonna, oh, mamma mia, I forgot to turn the heat on. It works better if you turn the heat on. Friends, I'm gonna bring them to boil them, then I'm gonna reduce them, I'm gonna let them cook slowly, bloop, 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 bloop. Then we'll remove all of those vegetables that I'm now infusing the broth, and we'll use the bean, I'm gonna show you how to do it. But the broth is very important, because you'll see, we're gonna use them in the dish, then we're gonna bake them in the oven. So. When I come back, I'm gonna clean this and we're gonna do all the meats. I got all the meats ready to go, so we'll be back in a second. We've got a sausage, we got duck confit, we got the pork shoulder, we got bacon. Oh, we got all kind of goodies. So I'm gonna come back and we're gonna get it all ready, okay? So we'll be back in a second. Okay, the beans are cooking, so now we're gonna do the rest of the meat first. I got a little duck fat, you don't have duck fat? Uh, don't worry about it. Use um, use uh, olive oil. Oh, no, 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 olive oil. You need a high smoke point. You want to use a good cooking oil, eh? And then we're going to put bacon. We got bacon and uh, an onion. You remember, onion is always number first and last. There's bacon. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you know that already. But a lot of people, you know, I always welcome a new subscriber. Every day we got another 2,000 subscribers. Every day, every day, every day. So we've been very blessed, very fortunate, but we have to welcome them and we have to remember that they haven't been here for the last two and a half, three years. Jack tells me it's almost three years. It's almost three years. So almost three years. God bless America. We're having a lot of fun here, friends. So we got a little duck fat. If you got it, great. Otherwise, you know, cooking oil. Otherwise, you know what? You really don't need it because you got bacon. So you got bacon or pancetta. Pancetta is really the one you should use because it's not supposed to be cured if you want to make a real traditional. But you know, it depends where you live, friends. Pancetta is not easy to find, okay? Or you find it like, Ugh. sometimes it's uh, better to buy an uncure bacon. Uncure meaning it's not smoked. It's really up to you, eh? Um, and we're gonna get a little fat coming out of there. And we're gonna use the bacon from the duck. The, the bacon for the duck, what? I promise you I haven't drank anything yet. <laughs> We're going to use a little bit of the fat from the bacon and the duck. And we're going to saute the onion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be delicious, friends. All right, we're going to get that going. Put the onion. I just got a, like a, a small onion in there. We're going to saute this together. Got a beautiful golden brown. And, um, and then, friends, we're going to pack cook. This is the whole idea here. It's to create some Maya reaction here. Maya, Maya. Reaction is caramelization of protein. We got some pork shoulder and we got some um, a sausage. Now, it's supposed to be Toulouse sausage. Toulouse from that area we we're talking about earlier in the southwest part of France, which is really um, uh, uh, a garlic uh, a pork sausage. 75% uh, lean, 25% uh, fat. What kind of equation was that? Yeah, that worked. <laughs> and uh, and but you know what you can't find it is to find whatever sausage you can find my friends or make it you know it's not that big yeah, well, forget it I'm not gonna tell you to make your own sausage you're gonna say these guys are nuts I'm not making sausage especially for the dish I don't even know what it's gonna be yet like yet we're gonna wait for this to get golden brown friends a little bit more and then I'm gonna put the um, uh, the, the pork and the sausage and the sausage we're gonna put the whole thing now and then we're gonna par cook them in the oven. We're gonna take everything, we're gonna par cook it in the oven, and then we'll cut it in sizes. The pork shoulder, it's cut in big pieces, okay? Like uh, one and a half, two inches in, 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 in size of it, roughly. So we're gonna wait for this to get a little color, and, uh, and then we're gonna be able to put a pork in there and a sausage to it. You know what, let's start with the sausage. We're gonna start with the sausage right there. You see? And I was thinking that maybe I need a, 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 a smaller fry pan, a smaller fry pan, another fry, another fry pan for the uh, for the um, for the pork. But I think I'll be just fine. I'll move it around, and I, all I'm looking for is to create some nice Maillard reaction. All right, 
So give me a couple of minutes to get this going, friends, and I'll come back and we'll do the pork, okay? All right, friends, it's taking a little while. I'm gonna take the sausage, and uh, they're getting some nice color. And now I got room to take my uh, pork shoulders, and uh, we're gonna put some salt and pepper in there, and we're gonna brown all this together. And then we got some nice caramelization, and then we're gonna continue to cook all this in the oven until it's uh, uh, for about 15, 20 minutes. But I'll write all that up in a recipe, friends. This is a really cool recipe to make in advance because you can have it all ready to go. Like I said, it's not when it's the night the kids are hungry. Let's make them. Um, let's make them a a a a, 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 a cassoulet. It's a dish you prepare uh, Sunday afternoon for a good Sunday night. See, we got beautiful caramelization on the on the bacon and everything. We just got to get the meat caramelized, and then we're good to go, friends. All right. So I'm going to continue doing that, and then uh, we'll put this in the oven. And uh, oh, got to reduce the beans. We we'll put this in the oven. And, uh, and uh, when the beans are cooked, I'll come back and we'll put the whole dish together. We'll finish it up in the oven. So we'll be back when everything is done and ready to go in the oven, my friends. Okay? Okay, friends. Now we've already got some nice caramelization and everything, friends. Look at this. It's beautiful. All right, so we're going to take all this. We're going to put it right in here, my friends. And this goodies, deliciousness is going to go in the oven for about 15 minutes, get a nice spark cook on everything, and then we'll put the whole dish together. Okay, my friends, I got the oven at uh, 375, and uh, I'm just going to pop it in there, and then when the beans are ready, we're going to drain them, and we're going to put the whole dish together. So we'll be back when the beans are ready. Okay, friends. The beans are ready, I drained them. I got rid of all the, uh, the ham hock and the big vegetables and all that. I think uh, Jack was uh, checking me out, he was filming it, so he probably showed you how to do it here. I use one of those nets right there, it makes it easy. So now we're gonna mount the thing together. We're gonna put it all together, okay? So, uh, like I said, we have the duck leg confit. You can replace that with uh, chicken legs, and I'm gonna make a recipe for you to show. But if you wanted to see how to make the duck leg confit, I have a video that I released uh, a year or two ago, a year ago, I'm not sure. So we're gonna put the base, and the base of it is gonna be beans. So we go put the base in there, we cover the whole bottom of it with the beans. Basically, we're gonna put it in layer, you see? And then we're gonna make sure I got enough to put two layers in here, yeah. So what I'm gonna do now, I am going to uh, uh, um, put some of the uh, the beautiful broth. The broth is amazing, my friends. It, uh, you could just drink it, the broth. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 you see, you cover the whole thing like this, right? Very simple, friends, see, no big deal. And, and uh, let me tell you, it smells amazing in this kitchen. Oh, it really, if you will be here, my friends, You'll love it, I promise you. So, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put the, uh, the meat, the meat right there, let me just grab a tongue. It makes it easier. We got all that beautiful meat right there, that uh, pork shoulder with the caramelized onion and the bacon. And uh, this is delicious, see? See the whole thing right there? It's gorgeous, right? We're gonna put all this in. A, I do it in a, um, in a, uh, a stub. A pot has got to go back in the oven for about an hour now, you see? We're going to finish cooking because everything was started, but it's not all finished, you see? Right there, we're finishing it up. And now we're going to put the sausage. We're going to make sure. And see, oh, I cut the sausage. I didn't tell you that. But I cut the sausage because um, uh, when you serve it, it's, uh, it'll make it easier. Instead of grabbing a whole half of a sausage or a quarter of a sausage, you can, bring a, you can grab a couple of pieces of the sausage, you see? And uh, right there, we're all good. And, um, and of course, we got all that bacon in there and all that beautiful bacon juice and, uh, and everything. So all this is going in there, my friends, right? 
So all our beautiful juice of the meat and the bacon and the sausage, it's all going in there. <laughs> mm, delicious, 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 right? And now, uh, one, one more thing here, friends. We are going to um, uh, put the, uh, the duck leg confit, and then we're going to put beans. So the duck leg confit, that means they're cooked already, you see? They're already cooked. And, uh, and the, the, the princip principle of confit, uh, anything, friends, is uh, you cook it in a, in a duck fat. All right, so that's what we did. And now we're going to cover this with beans. And, um, and then we're going to put breadcrumb on it. And then we're going to put more sauce. And that's going to go in a 375-degree uh, oven for about uh, one hour. And uh, you see, we're covering everything. Ooh, this is this is still very hot. Cover the whole thing right there. You see, and then we're gonna put the uh, the breadcrumb. But I used all the beans, so I got no more beans now. So now we're gonna put all the broth. Wow, this is perfect. It, it is perfect, my friends. You see, now this is a traditional tacasule. There's no other dish. Similar, and anyway, in its technique, there is no other dish, and you cook exactly like this, right? No other dish like this, and you cook it like this. We're gonna go in the oven, and uh, for about an hour, and then we'll uh, come back. We'll put some uh, a bread crumb on it, cover the whole top, and finish it in the oven for another 15 minutes after that. So it's going in the oven now for about one hour. All right. So we'll see you in about an hour. It's gonna go at 375. Okay, friends, it's been about an hour, so I'm gonna put the break home on it now. That's the finishing touch, French. Friend, oh, mamma mia. So I put it right here, and um, we're gonna put the break home. Now, I'm using my, uh, my seasoned break home, and uh, you can use whatever break home you want. Jack is gonna put a link for you out there, the fresh break home. I use it for my tomato pie. I use it for everything. It's amazing. And, um, and, and you can keep it in the freezer for 17 years minimum. <laughs> and new subscriber gonna say, this guy's nuts. You don't put things in the freezer for 17 years. Yeah, you do. You do, you do, you do. Hey, look guys, so you put it by common and you're gonna say, well, they're gonna get real soggy. There, there, that's the whole idea. That's the whole idea, friends. We're gonna go in there. And um, and you're gonna need a lot. Break home. We want to do a rough. You see. And uh, and then we're gonna go in there for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Get them beautiful golden brown, and then we're gonna put another layer of break home. First layer is gonna get real wet. That's part of the deal. And uh, that's it, my friends. Go in there. And uh, don't worry about it. If it gets a little soggy, that's part of the deal. And then we're going to put another layer, and then the next layer won't get soggy. <laughs> there's, a, there's a reason for our madness. All right, friends. So now we're going to go back to the oven, and I'll see you in 15, 20 minutes. Okay, a few minutes went by, friends. The first layer. Now we're going to go back in. <clears throat> And we're going to put more breadcrumb. We're going to put more breadcrumb. And we're going to do it until it's beautiful golden brown at the end. So these breadcrumb, friends, for those of you that are not familiar with it, they have uh, sun-dried tomatoes, garlic, little cheese, Parmigiano-Reggiano, and, um, and all kind of goodies. Parsley, and right there, and put in the corner because the corner is when it comes to boil. And voila, my friends! All right, see now it's gonna stay right there on top. Maybe just a little bit more right there, and that's it. It's going back in the oven. And voila, 
Beautiful. So I'll see you in a few minutes when it's nice and golden brown, friends. Okay, friends, I just took it out of the oven. I'm just going to put a little chopped parsley in here. And I'm going to wait about three hours. <laughs> now, you know I'm going to burn myself if I eat it now, boy. But that's the way it's supposed to look, friends, with a bright comb on it. Uh, the traditional way to lose, they, they put their fingers in there or they push it down uh, even more. So the bright comb get all wet and everything. But I like it that way. And uh, so we're going to wait just a few minutes for it to cool. And then we're going to make a plate, okay? All right. Okay, friends, I waited a few minutes. <laughs> I would have to wait three hours if I wanted to wait to, uh, until it's not hot enough. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a, uh, a, a, a duck breast, a duck breast, a duck leg, and we're just going to move it on the side, you see? And then what I do is I take the... Uh, the, the sausage and the pork, since I spread out everything, uh, you remember since I spread out everything correctly, then all I got to do is go in there and I get a little bit of everything right now, you see? Just by doing this, I know that I did it correctly. And uh, all I got to do now is dig in. Let me tell you, it smells amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing. It really, really does. And now we're going to do so. We got the meat, we got the sausage, we got a little piece of everything. And, uh, and uh, now we're going to do, we're going to take our, our duck leg right there. And we're going to put it in just like this. And now is it going to stay? Uh, probably not. But you know what? We're going to force it to stay. You, stay. Stay right there. Okay. We're going to put a little more beans behind it so it doesn't fall. Right there. Now, I also saved some, uh, some extra juice. And you could also, and you know, I have it in the fridge. I should, uh, I just put it in. I just put it in. Because I had taken a little bit out. Um, and I, you can take a little bit of the juice, friends. You know, it's not, <laughs> yeah, it's not cold yet. I just put it in. And then we just put a little bit of the juice right there. You see, friends? And this is a beautiful cassoulet. You see? Right there, my friends. So this is not a, uh, hey, you, over there. Come back. <laughs> when you're talking to your sauce, you know you're in trouble. There you go. Put it in there like that. And voila, my friends. A little bit of, uh, oh, no, 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 none of that. I'm going to put a little bit of, um, uh, um, uh, uh, fresh, you know, fresh thyme is in there. We have it. So we're going to put a couple of uh, 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 sprig, sprig, is that what you call them? Sprig, I believe. Of uh, fresh thyme. We're going to cut them. Yeah, so they're not too long. And we'll put them right in there, my friends. And voila. We have ourselves a cassoulet. And, uh, and it's going to be delicious, and we're going to get in. Now, you've got to give it a little time because it's very uh, uh, hot. <laughs> you've got to give it a little time to cool, but I'm going to test it right now because it smells absolutely amazing, my friends. It really does. It really, really does. I'm not going to take a big piece of something to eat because then if I do, I'm not going to be able to talk. But I just wanted to test it because it, it smells so amazing. <laughs> Oh, wow. Mm. All of the flavors marry so well together. The breadcrumb made the sauce um, thick in the breadcrumb. Uh, oh, mm. oh, it's hot. Mm. My friends, I hope you make this cassoulet very traditional from Toulouse, France. We're going to make another version, Fort Lauderdale, <laughs> USA. The much easier version, I'll make it simple for you guys. Remember, thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Thanks for watching, friends. We love you. Wow, that's delicious. Mm, it really is. It's like, wow. Mm -hmm. That looks good, right?
It looked really, really good. And, uh, mm, oh wow, the pork shoulder melts in your mouth. Oh wow, mm, what? I go, ooh, ooh la, like I'm surprised. I know this is what it's gonna taste like. Mmm, <laughs> wow, delicious.